click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends and today we are going to solve a problem number 4 which is based on basically convolution theorem of z transform now convolution theorem means what just apply convolution or you can say just find out a z transform of two function then just multiply it convolution theorem is z transform is defined as simply just it is nothing but the product of a z transform of two functions so whenever the convolution based question is asked then always they'll give you two different samples and just apply z transform on it and then find out the response and just multiply it so that you will get the convolution theorem or the z transform convolution theorem so first of all we'll move on to question use a convolution theorem to obtain the z transform whereas the function is given x of n sequence is given 1 2 1 2 where this arrow is mentioned or marked on second bit which means this is the origin place so on the left hand side we have a two samples and the right hand side we have now look at here the origin is placed perfectly at the second sample second sample means what here we have a origin now on the right hand side we have two samples on the left hand side we have one sample which means at one we have amplitude one at instant two we have amplitude two at instant minus one we have amplitude one now here the leftmost value is marked as a origin which means all the samples are available on right hand side that is on positive instance so now first of all we'll apply z transform both this part and then we'll move on to solution now the question is we have to apply a convolution theorem which means according to z transform of convolution in between x1 of n and x2 of n we are going to find out the convolution so that's why i have written z transform of x1 of n convolve with x2 of n and on which i am going to apply a z transform and the formula is a product of z transform of both these functions so what is important just find out first of all z transform of x1 of n and then x2 of n so first of all i am going to apply a definition of z transform on x1 of n and now but before of that just mark this equation as a when because we are going to substitute x1 of z value and x2 of z value in this formula z transform of x1 of n is represented by x1 of z and the definition is now look at here basically we have only four samples and it is available from minus 1 to 2 how to get these values just simply mark origin value it is 0 on right hand side we have a positive instant that is 0 after we have 1 and then 2 and on left hand side we have a negative sample that was minus 1 so while calculating the z trans of x1 of n the summation value changes from minus 1 to 2 so in between this range we are going to apply a z transform similarly look at here for x2 of n the leftmost bit arrow is marked perfectly on the below of leftmost bit which means the origin is placed on perfectly on the leftmost bit so right handed side values are our positive instance so we have 1 2 and 3 so these are the instance at instant 1 we have amplitude 2 at instant 2 we have amplitude 2 at instant 3 we have amplitude 3 so in this case our n value varies from 0 to 3 so we will apply z transform but the range will be 0 to 3 now we will find out the z transform of x1 of n and the range will is minus 1 to 2 now look at it for x1 of n our n value varies from minus 1 to 2 so our summation value also changes from minus 1 to 2 So this is a summation value and it is changes from minus 1 to 2 or it is available from minus 1 to 2. Now if our period is positive or inst instance are positive then the order of z will be having a negative 
but if the instant is negative then of course if i replace this minus one or if i replace this n by minus one then order will become positive so always remember one thing for positive instance the order of z is always negative and for negative instance order of z is always a positive now substitute the value of n in this formula or you can say break this summation value from minus one to two so first of all i'm going to substitute n value that is minus 1 to 1 so this n is replaced by minus 7 and this order will be now positive so for positive instance our amplitude or power of z is negative now simply substitute the values of x of minus 1 minus 0 1 and 2 x of minus 1 is 1 x of 0 is 2 and z to the power 0 gives us 1 so 2 into 1 will be 2 x of 1 is 1 1 into z inverse will be next x of 2 is here this is the location 2 or n value is 2 and at this 2 our amplitude is 2 so what you will get and this is nothing but our x1 of z and the equation is this now we'll find out the x2 of z so basically in x2 of n the origin is marked on the leftmost bit which means on the rightmost bit or right sided bits are instants are positive so this is the location of 1 2 and 3 at instant 1 we have amplitude 2 at instant 2 we have amplitude 2 and at instant 3 we have amplitude now apply z transform but the value of n will start it from 0 to 3 now as i told you if the instants are positive then order of z is always having a negative value now break this summation value from 0 to 3 What is the next? Just substitute all the values of x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. x of 0 means the x at instant 0. x of 1 means x value at instant 1. Similarly, x of 2 value is 2 and x of 3 value is also 2. So what you can say that? Just multiply 2 with all the 1 and z, what you will get? and this is nothing but my x2 of z value and it is marked as a equation number 3 now what is the next step we have to substitute the values of x1 of z and x2 of z in equation number 1 So, I am going to substitute the values of equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1. So, z transform of x of n convolved with x2 of n was x1 of z into x2 of z. So, just substitute the values of x1 of z and x2 of z over here. So, I have substituted the values of x1 of z and x2 of z. Now, what is the next step? Just multiply first bracket with another one. So, z into 2. First of all, I am going to multiply all this first term value with each and every term of second part. So, z into 2 is 2z. z into 2z inverse will be nothing but only z into z will give us all the bases are same then orders will be added so here we have order 1 here we have order minus 1 on minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 so z to the power 0 we have so it will give us 1 and the answer is only a 2 now z into 2z raised to minus 2 here we have order 1 here we have minus 2 so minus 2 plus 1 gives us minus 1 next here z to the power 1 into z to the power minus 3 only one order will get cancelled the remaining thing i have written over here now next one similarly multiply 2 with this whole bracket what will happen 2 into 2 will become 4 
नेक्स्ट टू इंटू टू जेड इनवर्स इज फोर जेड इनवर्स नेक्स्ट जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई टू विद नेक्स्ट टू वन ना मल्टीप्लाई जेड इनवर्स विथ ऑल दिस टप्स z inverse into 2 is 2 z inverse now the last one 2 z raised to minus 2 will be multiplied with the next sequence so what is our next step just add all the coefficients of z z to the power 0 z to the power minus 1 and z to the power minus 2 so i'm going to write this equation on next page again so that you will get the idea what will be the next result so look at here what i have done i have written all the sample value but according to the power of z the first term was z to the power 1 the second term is related to z to the power 0 second next one is z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 now so that why i have written this in this type because it is easy to write the answer so here we have only 2z next 4 plus 2 becomes 6 4 plus 4 becomes 8 z inverse next 4 plus 6 and 6 12 next i get 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10 4 plus 2 is 6 and the last one is this and this is nothing but the z transform of convolution of two functions this is how we are going to solve a z transform of two sequence or convolution of two sequence now we'll solve some similar type of numerical in next coming videos thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much